Let's tell people about like raising $100 million for healthcare and like what, what all that was. What we did was, so my work is looking at the effects of early adversity on health and is focused on huge research study that was done by CDC and Kaiser Permanente. And they looked at 10 categories of adverse childhood experiences. So I'll just take a second to explain this. What they looked at was physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, physical or emotional neglect, or growing in a household where a parent experienced substance dependence, a mental health disorder, was incarcerated, where there was parental separation or divorce, or intimate partner violence. It turns out that these things that are called adverse childhood experiences or ACEs, one, they're super common. I think a lot of us think about those things and they think, oh, it just happens in certain neighborhoods or something. But it turns out two thirds of Americans have experienced at least one and one in eight folks. Actually, now the CDC data is one in six folks have experienced four or more of these. It also turns out the more categories of these ACEs a person has experienced, the greater the risk to their health. Someone with four more experience, four more ACEs has double the risk for heart disease, which is the number one killer in the U.S., right? So we see increased risk for things like diabetes or autoimmune disease. And then some of the things that we're more familiar with, like depression or substance dependence or anxiety, etc. In my role, uh, when I came in as California Surgeon General, there was no systematic way doing early detection and early intervention. We do for all these other health conditions, <laughs> because what we now understand is that the connection between this early adversity and increased risk for all these different health outcomes is that when we experience something stressful or traumatic in childhood and we don't have enough adequate support, that it can change the way our stress response is wired. It can lead to this prolonged activation of our body's stress response. And that affects so many of our systems, brain development, hormones, metabolism, you know, even the way our DNA is read and transcribed. I was able to take this research and really look at what is the cost? We were able to to calculate what the cost is to, you know, my home, home state of California. It was a huge number. The number we calculated was $112.5 billion annually. And from that, we were able to leverage that to get an investment by the state. State. And it actually turned out to be in total over six years, it was just over $500 million. It was, it was a lot of money. 